Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. If you're new to the Keep Productive YouTube channel, welcome. It's awesome to have you. And if you're a regular, another video is here for you. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is checking out an application called Timely. This is a time tracking application that I've got the opportunity to review over the last week. Uh, I actually implemented it alongside Todoist. So I'm gonna be talking about how I use Timely connected up with Todoist across a week, week and a half period. Uh, and using those two applications to be able to track my time. Now, just before we start the video, we're going to carry on with the regular segment of answering a YouTube comment for you guys. Uh, we're gonna be doing this in most of the introductions of the videos. Now, the question today comes from Mujadad. I really apologize if I got the pronunciation of your name wrong. Uh, Mujadad asks uh, whether OmniFocus uh, and how OmniFocus and Todoist compare. Um, and that's a really great question. That's a question that a lot of people ask in the comments and a lot of people get uh, confused by when they start looking for to-do list applications. It's really hard when you're downloading an application like from the App Store, Mac App Store, uh, or the Google Play Store, and when you go to it, you sort of land and you're like, you look for the biggest and best thing that the editors recommend, or that has like the top ranking of like either grossing or the free apps. And a lot of the time, OmniFocus is sat there because it is a well-renowned application that uses Apple's functionality well and provides you with a good, high quality experience. Now the problem with OmniFocus is it's more tailored towards the GTD experts around there and it's quite intense for if someone's just starting out. It's good if you have an understanding of the application, how it works, and also understand GTD in a high level of detail. But for those beginners or for those individuals that are looking for a pretty flexible, easy to use application, I'd recommend Todoist. But again, for those who actually are looking for an intense experience like OmniFocus, then it's definitely worth it. But just consider, one, the time that you have to learn it, because it does take a little bit of learning time. Two, uh, the actual price itself, because it's well-priced. Uh, I mean, it's quite high price. And finally, uh, just the amount of effort that you have to get started with it. So that's always something you have to consider when you look at to do this application, but definitely something you have to consider when you look at OmniFocus. Now, I will be doing a review very soon, guys, so make sure to look out for that one. I'll post it here on the YouTube channel so you'll be able to get it. Uh, straight away. That was the YouTube comment for today. So I really appreciate uh, those people who are adding the comments, uh, questions to the comments. Uh, so feel free to add any questions or queries that you have over in the comment section. Let's get started with the timely functionality. Uh, Again, as I was mentioning, this is a time tracking software that I was using across uh, the last week to week and a half. Uh, and it's available on web, iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows, uh, so you can download it there. And it, what it does is it basically, essentially allows you to log all of your hours. This is great for two sorts of people, I would say. Freelancers, which they can track their build client time uh, and any time that they spend on different projects and activities. And also teams, so it's great for like workload, timesheets, and scheduling. So it has that level of functionality, which is pretty cool. Timely is pretty easy to get started with. You can just start logging hours um, and it has a memory tracker. So essentially you install this download on your Windows and Mac devices. And essentially what it will do is it will track uh, all of the stuff that you do. So it tracks all of the applications and also puts that into a reporting system so that you know what you've spent your time on. So it's quite a high level of detail application. And what I'll be doing today is going into detail on how I connected it with Timely to Todoist, which is my to-do list application of choice. Now, what I'll be doing today is jumping over on my Mac and also showing you the iOS version to give you a bit of an idea of how that works with Todoist across your day. I really enjoyed the experience itself, so let's just dive in and show you all of that great stuff. Hey guys, here we are with Timely for Web. As I mentioned, it is available on different devices. And something I'll speak about near the end is the memory tracker, which is available on Mac. But as you can see here, it's pretty simple to get started with. Um, you have a timesheet for the day, and that's available on the hours on the left-hand side. You can see that is the sort of main tab that you'll spend most of your time logging the hours. I've got it in day view at the moment, so you can start adding entries to both your memory log and also the timesheet, which will correspond each way. Uh, but you can see that you can go to the week view and actually skip ahead on days. Now, as you can see here, I've got week view. So I did a full day on Monday of plotting this out. I haven't done it the last three days, just so I can show and demonstrate how you can backlog events and demonstrate how you can connect that. Although the actual experience does still track, it allows you to give that one. 
I'm on the solo plan, so I will give more detail on the pricing near the end of this, uh, which will give you more of an idea of whether you want to invest in this resource. So just jumping on the day tab here, you can start essentially using the timesheet on the left hand side. So for example, this morning, uh, I started working on some Go Skills tutorials. So I'm going to put Go Skills um, and put tutorials. So that's the actual task information. And what I can do here is actually change it to a new project. Now you get five projects on a solo plan. Uh, so you have the ability to attach that. I'm going to attach it to YouTube because it technically correlates to that. And I did a whole half an hour. So I'm going to add log time as half an hour. So what you can do down here is you can start a timer on it. So very similar to the other resources, you can start a timer. You can copy it to other days as well, which is quite handy if you've got a recurring one. And you can set a plan time. So I'm going to demonstrate the plan time. So for example, let's say I've got plan time of it of like an hour or not 10 hours, one hour. You can see that it's given this sort of like quadrant section of how long I should have spent on it and it will give me con more context there. So once I add that, it will give it. You've also got the ability to add, move it to another day or delete uh, if you wish so. So I'm just gonna click save. And as you can see, it's tracked that and I can always go into it and modify that information. So it gives me an indication of half an hour and it also gives me the pound sign there because you can change it to depending on the currency you've got. Now you can actually move this out a little bit if you've extended it and you've completed the time spent or you can shorten it uh, based on the plan time, which is quite cool. Now you're probably looking over on the left hand side and wondering what this is. Uh, as you can see, uh, and what I'll give in more detail is, is the memory part of Timely. So basically you have the ability to connect the Timely Mac uh, download. So up here you can see that the tracking is on and you can view memories on there. So the data is tracked privately, but it will be uploaded to the timeline here. So you can see this morning I started working on Go Still stuff. I opened up Microsoft um, Word and used it for 15 minutes. And I completed uh, two like Todoist items there. So that's pretty easy to get started with. So you can actually keep track of that. I'll explain that in more detail in a minute, which is sort of the bread and butter of this. But essentially it will track and, and time your entire day, which is quite nice. Now, just a note with it, the memory only lasts like, I think it's three days or up to, up to it, which I'll explain nearer the end uh, in the, the pricing. But it is, it's just a bonus experience, I would say. Uh, again, it, it allows you to track all of that stuff, which is good. But this is a real like core experience that you get with Timely because you can then access all of that sheet. So if I just go over to today um, and I just go over to week view, sorry, I can always go back and add entries uh, to different projects and activities. So let's say I worked on Newton here, which I did. Uh, I was, uh, I think I was doing PR and marketing. So they're the activities that I did and I did that two hours. So I can quickly log that. And you can see the memories that you worked on. Now I'm just gonna click start, save uh, for that one. And for example, in this one, I'm going to add a new uh, tab of uh, YouTube again. I'm gonna say uh, recording timely feature. And uh, I've done half an hour on that. But what I can do is if I, once I've saved that, I go back into it and start the timer on it, it will add an additional amount of time as I go. So I can stop that timer if I wish or pause it, but it's a good way to keep track of uh, ongoing stuff as you go. So if I go to just day view, so as you can see, it's tracking that time over on the left hand side. So it's a pretty easy and go to experience, but what I quite like about it is the ability to connect with Todoist. Now up here in the right hand corner, you have the memory apps. You can of course access them in the settings function, but you can have uh, the memory Windows tracker, as I said, connects with Windows. This is that Mac tracker up there. You can connect with Google Cow, Gmail, Moobs, GitHub, Office 365, Trello, Asana, Wunderlist. Uh, and I've got the Mac tracker and Todoist connected. So you need Todoist Premium to connect with this, but it's a great way across your day to be able to time track and see all of the tasks you completed. So for example, uh, let's just go here. You can see that this morning I completed two of my exercises on Go Skills as well as completing an introduction. And it gave a timestamp here of when I completed it and all of the items. Uh, you do need to do as premium for this because of the level of functionality uh, because it's a completed task technically. But that's a good way and be able to see exactly what I was able to complete during that time. If you want, what you can do is you can overlay that and actually give yourself uh, the, the backlog as well. So for example, if I said during this time I actually created uh, a new Evernote video and I click save on that one, it would go into the log and actually have that. So you can actually see the times that you spent on it, which is great. So you can actually correlate it to a direct time 
versus just having that there. So as you can see, it's pretty simple to set up and pretty easy to get started. All you need to do is that to do is premium and go over to there and connect it up. Uh, it's really easy and it will just activate it through authentication. So just some final notes on the left hand side, you've also got the control panel. Uh, again, this one is for the companies and enterprise packages. So you can see all of the the, the full like the work days and the timesheets, but you can also see uh, per project as well. So for example, if I went to uh, YouTube, you can see the time, total time logged, total time planned and total time on build. So you can correlate your billing to it and actually export it as an Excel and PDF. You can also see the users, so if you invite more people, and also reports provide you with a way to see all of the, the process time so far uh, and logged money. So it's quite uh, neat. You've also got a dashboard as well to see everything there. So as you can imagine, it's pretty easy to set up and quite a neat way to uh, actually track time and keep a progress on that. I recommend it for freelancers and those who are in teams. They're considering a way to be able to log all of that time that you're using across your day. You can backlog, you can make sure that uh, things are tracked and you can upgrade to a new plan with memory. So before we leave, I just want to go over the pricing strategy here uh, to give you an insight into which one to go for. So to access all of this pricing information, I'll include it in the description below. You do get a 14 day free trial and through the link that I'm gonna be putting below, you'll actually get 10% off, which I'll mention at the end anyway, uh, just to remind you. So I'm on that solo plan, uh, that's $7 per month, a little bit cheaper than hours from my memory. Um, and actually you've got basic time tracking, you've got three active projects, three days of memory history, and one user, which is pretty ideal. So you still got all that stuff I mentioned, app integrations, tags, uh, project budgets, team scheduling, per project rates, etc. And then you've got a central plan which connects up to unlimited active projects, gives you a month of memory history and uh, all that basic stuff uh, that you get with it. Uh, if you want to go more advanced, you've got a company one and an enterprise one, I can imagine that's something that you probably want to explore with your teams and if you've got more than XX amount of people. But I found this actually really great for tracking to do stuff because I could just track all of the go-to completed tasks and it was just a nice way to see all of that at a glance. Uh, it's really easy to connect and pretty functional as well. So as you can understand, I used Timely across that week and a half. I really enjoyed it. I think I'll be carrying on with it. Uh, obviously the process of logging it seems time intensive, but it actually can become a great way to audit your time. I'm gonna be doing a feature on this very soon when I round up a few time tracking tools and talking about the benefits of auditing your time. Now, what I recommend Timely for is individuals that are looking to get, like track their time with clients or want a simple tracker to get started with. The team at Timely sent over a unique URL, which is really cool of them. Uh, it gives you 10% off a three, first three month subscription and 10% off an annual subscription. That's what it is. Uh, so you can go over and, and uh, activate that, which is very kind of them. And of course, uh, I will be giving a more detail inscription about how to actually connect to Doist and uh, the likes of Timely. So they'll be all in the description. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's feature. I hope it gave you an insight into how I'm sort of experimenting with a few tools. Of course, the best thing to do is experiment with some of the resources um, and naturally learn as you go along because that might not be the same setup for you. So guys, uh, just before we leave, uh, thank you so much for everyone helping me reach 50,000 subscribers. We are now at 50,000, so I'll be doing a giveaway with some amazing apps and resources. So do stay tuned for that. Also, the Facebook page, Facebook group, sorry, we will be doing a few sticker giveaways. And if you don't know, the Facebook group is basically a community of people from librarians to students, to teachers, to professionals. Uh, everyone's there. Uh, it's over 300 people, 350 people so far, which is amazing. Uh, so feel free to join that. I'll be there answering any comments and questions, uh, doing my best to, as you can imagine. Uh, but it's amazing to have that community there. People are asking questions, it's beautiful. So feel free to join that one, it's free, naturally, uh, and uh, you can ask any questions or queries that you have. So guys, thank you very much for stopping by. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of Timely and whether you're using a resource connected to a to-do list application. It'd be really great to hear some of your stuff. And again, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments too. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.